We're finally going to assemble the K and K. Um, before we do this, my lovely assistant Tim is going to tell me what each part is because I have no clue. So you're going to tell me now what the fuck that is? This is the Triceratops foot. Seriously, what is this? It's the thing to hold the paper down. The thing to hold the paper it's, down. Yeah, the pressure foot or whatever. Okay. I hope you read the manual. How could I do something silly like that? Are they still open? Oh, there we go. Yes, that is how it goes on. It slides over and then that locks it in place. And that's the stop, so it can't go any further. I wish I could see what you were doing instead of seeing your fat hand. Just saying. Yeah, that helps. Just like in a porn, he's having to turn it unnaturally to the side so that you can see what's going on. It just slides in, slides up, and slides over. So you get it to where you want. Okay, what's next? Oh, there's three of these? Yes. And there's a gap on that side so you can pull them out. There. Okay. That's it. Now what? Oh my gosh. What about the rest of the parts? Like this? That's already in. What is it again? That's the Wi Fi. Where'd you put it? I didn't put Lift it. Lift it so that we can... Oh, it's just a little USB for the Wi-Fi. What else was there? Here's the blade. That kind of need to show the blade getting inserted. Oh, that's the blade housing. Okay, so how do we put that in? Blade housing does not have a blade in it. That's okay. Show us how to put it in. When I get it, I don't guess what, um, I don't know what kind of blades it needs when you look that up. Just like on the puzzles, just about, or the, or the, uh, black cat. It's just power. These are, are, these are your blades. Yeah, well I don't want a blade in there just yet. And this is your pen tool. And that's my pen tool, which he's already covered in the last video. So we basically just insert the blade, just kind of like we did a black cat or a puzzles, and you tighten it. Yeah, but I don't know how high or how low it's supposed to be. But. Well, I know with the puzzles, uh, um, when you do this, you can take a uh, blank CD mm -hmm. and put it above your paper, just as a, and it's like the right spacing. Um, we would probably have to ask the company if that's how you would do it here, because I don't want to ruin this thing. That's it. Do you want me to put the smashy claw on? Yeah, let's do the smashy claw. Where is the smashy claw? Because we haven't shown them the smashy claw yet. It's up there on top of it. I'm not going to know what I'm getting. Why don't you quit playing with those and just go get the smashy box? Green box. Huh? Green box. The green box. Okay, this is the uh, rotor tool, otherwise known as the smashy claw. It comes in this handy dandy green military looking box. Perfect for con containing small bombs or action figures. We will now assemble the smashy claw. Let's get a good view of the smashy claw and how it goes in there. Please put that back so we can see. This is a piece. Yeah, I know. See how nicely we assembled it? Because, okay, now you can go ahead. Please note the smashy claw also is armor green. 
means it came to the right place. What's that? These are the, all the stuff for the smashy tool. That helps me not. What are they? Um, you've got some drill blades, some okay. cutter blades. Okay, we don't need to worry about those right now. But but I do need this. It looks like to put in your things is just like a regular Dremel. Yes. You, uh, it's got a Dremel tip. So it's like to get the camera onto it. Tim, help me out here. It's got a Dremel tip, so it looks like it acts just like your Dremel you would buy at the hardware store. So that's pretty handy. Which, which I'm assuming means that this is the release. Yes. Little on and off button over there. Now he is da -da -da -da, reading the documentation. It's kind of like watching grass grow. Okay, what are you doing there? You gotta loosen this to slide the tool down in it. So this is the adapter, so the... Yeah. Yes. And how does it fit on? Uh-huh. So it's going to replace those? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty handy. For the note is, we feel like this piece looks 3D printed. Just it is. casual note there. It looks 3D printed. Which is kind of cool. They even said it was. They did. When did they say that? When I asked them, and they said that, remember when we ordered it, and they said this magic claw was back ordered? Yeah because they were still printing the pieces. I see. Is it in yet? Because, <laughs> like, we're not cutting anything, you know, just show how it goes together. This, I'm hand, my hand is tired. And then it just fits down. Okay, so then, what about the side, that, that cord? The power cord. Well, how, how is the machine going to know how hard to push anything with it? It's not hooked electronically to the machine in any way. Now? And then this, the machine brings it up and down, but uh -huh. uh, um, you set your high and low on this. On what? Right there. Need better lighting. Well, how am I supposed to know? It's got no dial. So I can't tell what force I'm telling it. That's not the force, that's just the speed of the... Okay. The force will be done through the machine. Well, I guess I'll find out when the time comes. Is that it? Are you done? Yes, I think okay. so. Okay, so that was it. That's how, you was, that's how it came to us. Now ready to be assembled and now I've just got to figure out how to do a cutty file because as far as I know the firmware hasn't caught up for it to be with uh, uh, my program just yet. Yay and stuff. I think the, it, it's got to be on this side. Okay. We had probably better check the specs on that and double check with the company. Yeah. When in doubt, make sure you know. <laughs>